The Supreme Court of Appeal will hear arguments on the corruption conviction of former National Police Commissioner Silebi in Bloemfontein today and tomorrow, and tributes are continuing to pour in for SAFM science presenter Christina Scott. I'm Musa with the latest news update. The Supreme Court of Appeal will hear arguments on the corruption conviction of former National Police Commissioner Jeki Silebi in Bloemfontein today and tomorrow. Silebi was sentenced to a 15-year jail term for corruption after accepting payments from convicted drug trafficker Glenn Agliotti. He remains free pending the appeal. Constitutional law expert Professor Pierre de Foss says the case will be heard before a full bench of five judges. Silebi will argue that there might have been some problems with the conduct which what would otherwise have been a fair trial unfair. The question of whether the court was correct in finding him guilty based on the evidence partly of Mr. Glenn Agliotti as corroborated by other witnesses, was that corroboration sufficient? The ANC Youth League says it has accepted the sports minister Figile Mbalula's apology in the aftermath of weekend reports detailing his sex life. The league's spokesperson, Floyd Shivambu, says their confidence and respect for Mbalula has been built over time and will never fade because of what he terms the unfortunate incident. Shivambu says Mbalula's humility and courage in accepting that he'd erred and in publicly apologizing to his family the ANC and the country should be celebrated. The report said that Mbalula was a victim of extortion at the hands of a woman he had an affair with and who claimed she had been impregnated by him. Unemployment, poverty, HIV, AIDS and education are some of the issues that will top the agenda of today's bilateral talks between the IFP Youth Brigade and COPE Youth Movement. The two youth organizations will also discuss last week's ANC Youth League Economic Freedom March. The IFPYB National Chairperson Mkulego Lengwa says youth organizations, including the League, should get together to discuss challenges young people are facing. However, he says they are opposed to the nationalization of mines, which the League is calling for. We really think it's important that young people in South Africa need to access the economy and its spin-offs and advantages and its returns. But what we do not subscribe to is the call for nationalization. The solution lies in sitting down and actually looking at how best we can resolve the problems affecting young people and their failure to access the economy. And lastly, tributes are continuing to pour in for SAFM science presenter and former Metro FM producer Christina Scott. She was killed in a car accident at Observatory in Cape Town yesterday. Former journalist Charles Leonard worked with her in KwaZulu Natal during the dark days of apartheid. She was always very supportive and she cared. She cared for people who tried to bring the message across of what's happening in the struggle and uh, especially in those days, the UDF struggle in the townships and the non-racial movement struggle. So she was a very wonderful person, very committed, and I'll remember her fondly for that. And, you know, always willing to share contacts. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak, Option 1.